Hi everyone. My name is Nick Stasoulis, and I'm a hydrologic technician with the main office of the USGS. Today, we're on the Caravasset River near North Anson, our station number 01047000. We're out today performing maintenance on some of our manned cableways. These manned cableways allow us to access the river for discharge measurements in places where boat access is impossible and there are no bridge crossings. We use these cableways to make discharge measurements by lowering a velocity meter down to the water. Of course, these velocity meters give us the speed of the water. We use the cableway markings to measure our distance across the river, and we use our velocity meter to sound the bottom of the river. Once we've sounded the bottom of the river and measured the distance we've moved, we can compute the area of our cross section. Using the velocity readings from our velocity meter, we can then compute the discharge in cubic feet per second of the water flowing past this cross section. Now that maintenance is complete and we feel the cable is safe, we'd like to take you out for a ride. So let's go. This cable way has an aluminum cable car that's suspended on a one inch steel cable. The cable car has shivs that ride on top of the steel cable, a brake that allow us to slow or stop our motion, and a puller that we clip onto the cable and allow us to pull ourselves up the slope on either bank. The slope in the one inch steel cable is an engineering design. It reduces the overall stress on the cableway system. The tighter the cable, the more stress we put on our system. On either bank, the one inch steel cable is secured with a large concrete mass anchor. Now, let's go for that ride. As you can see, we're over on the other side of the river. After the momentum of the cable car stopped, I purposefully stopped recording. Pulling a manned cable A up one bank of the river can be a pretty strenuous process, and honestly, I didn't want to embarrass myself. You'll notice we picked up quite a bit of speed as we were coming over to this bank of the river. During a routine measurement, we wouldn't go nearly that fast. We would stop at 25 or 30 locations across the river taking depth and velocity readings, noting the distance we've moved across the river. This information would allow us to compute our discharge measurement. After our measurement was done, we would return to the bank that we started from, load up our gear, and hit the road. My arm was getting a little bit tired as I was pulling myself up to the bank we started on, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you this view of our gauge house. This gauge house is a four foot by four foot concrete structure. That round bucket you see on the top is a precipitation bucket that weighs the amount of precipitation that's fallen into it. We also have an air temperature sensor at this gauge. Inside of the gauge house, there's equipment with a line attached to it. That line runs out into the river and it monitors the height of the water above the end of that line. We collect this gauge height information and transmit it by satellite using the antenna that you see on the top of the structure. This gauge height information goes back to our database and is applied to a rating for discharge that is specific to this site. The gauge height and the discharge information for this station are then reported to the web. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tour of our cableway engaging station here on the Carabasset River. I'd like to take a moment to remind you that without proper training and experience in both the operation and inspection of these cableways, they can be very dangerous and we ask that you do not damage or disturb any of the manned cableways you see across the country that are operated and maintained by the USGS or any other agency.